Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video. Now, when it comes to selling books on Amazon, research is essential if you're gonna get your books ranked and in front of customers. And in order to speed that up, research tools can be very useful. And today I'm gonna to compare three of the most useful tools that are currently out there. So if selling more books is your goal, then make sure you watch the whole video. Now, if you've not been here before, my name's Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it, grow it, and that's your money I'm talking about. And if you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. So, the three tools that we're gonna be looking at and comparing today are Helium 10, Book Bolt, and Publisher Rocket. Now these are three tools that I've used myself, so I'm going to give you my opinion from what I've found from using them. Now there are, you know, lots of other tools out there that you can use, but these are probably the three most common, three most useful, and they're the three that I've actually used. So the main areas I'm going to look at when comparing the tools are keyword research, niche research, category research, any other useful features like cover design, interior design functions, and then pricing and pricing structure. So we're gonna start off with keyword research and we're gonna look at Helium 10. Now with Helium 10, there's, there's lots of different modules that are out there and you can subscribe to individual modules or you can subscribe to the, the whole lot of, of, of modules. Now, the two modules that I've used and I think are most useful for you guys are the Magnet Keyword Research Tool and the Cerebro Reverse ASIN Lookup Tool. So if we go over to the Magnet Keyword Research Tool first of all, now I'm gonna do a, a search for mileage logbook and see what keywords come up with those. So I've done that and we've got 972 keywords. Now when it comes to using research tools and looking at keyword research, there's three metrics I'm really interested in. One, the, the number of search results on Amazon, so I can assess the number of competitors. Two, the number of searches for a particular keyword on Amazon. And three, if there are any Google searches. The third one's not as important, but it's useful. So when we do look at the, the results on Helium 10, on the Magnet module, we can see here that we've got search volume. And this is uh, an, an estimate of the number of times this is being searched for per month on Amazon. Then we've got this column here, which is the competing products. And this tells us how many results there are for this particular keyword when people you know, enter it into the search bar on Amazon. Now, as we can see here on Helium 10, we don't get the Google searches per month. What it does do is also give us, does give us this useful metric, which is a Magnet IQ score, which is basically a ratio of the search volume to competing products. So the higher this number, the, the better the keyword is. And what I mean by better is, is this keyword gonna be easier to rank for on Amazon? because the higher we can rank on Amazon, the more chance we're gonna get our books out there in front of customers. So we've got 972 keywords, and we've got all this information on search volume and all this information on competing products. Now that's the main information I'm looking at. So when we go over to BookBolt and do the same search, which is mileage logbook, we get 91 keywords. So we don't get as many keywords. But one thing that slightly concerns me is looking through this list of keywords, we've got lots of irrelevant keywords. We've got things like aircraft logbook, aquarium logbook, book journal log, daily logbook, diabetes logbook, dive logbooks. And when I was looking through, there was many of, quite a lot of these, what I think are quite irrelevant keywords and not many that are specific to the keyword we're searching for. As we go down the list, there seems to be a few more here, but again, we then get into things like pilot logbook, reptile logbook. So pairing to mag magnet on Helium 10, these keywords seem a lot more relevant. Now, if we go over to publisher Rocket, it doesn't give us the exact number of keywords, but what I like about publisher Rocket is all these keywords seem to be relevant to the, to the one we're searching for. Now, 
It doesn't give us all the information uh, up front. What you need to do is pick out those keywords you're interested in and click on analyze. And it will then give us the number of competitors, the estimated Amazon searches per month, and Publisher Rocket will also give us Google searches per month where available. So that's, that's useful. And it also has this nice column that gives us the average monthly earnings for a particular keyword. So it gives us the information that we need. Now with Publisher Rocket, when it comes to number of competitors, it appears that if it's more than 1,200, all you get is this greater than 1,200. So it's not quite as accurate as Helium 10. But when I'm doing my keyword research, I'm looking for keywords with search results of 1,000 or less. So if they're less than 1,200, you will get those results on Publisher Rocket. As we can see here, we've got this keyword that's got 1,115 um, search results. So this gives us the information, or this gives me the information that I want. So comparing the three tools, I would say that Helium 10 gives more information, which can be good and can be bad because you, know, you can get overwhelmed with too much information and too many keywords. But Publisher Rocket doesn't give us as many, but it gives us more relevant keywords, which I like. So I would probably rank on keyword research, Helium 10, number one, Publisher Rocket, number two, and Book Bolt number three. But don't take that as the end of the story because you've got to take into account the other areas that we're going to be looking at soon. Now, there is a feature with Helium 10 in terms of keyword research, which is quite useful. And that is what we call the reverse ASIN lookup, where you can spy on competitors' keywords. And what you do, I've just randomly picked this book because it came up on the search for Miley's logbook. You put in the ASIN number and then it will give us a list of keywords associated with this book. Now, it will give us the competing products again for each keyword. It will give us the Amazon searches per month, but also it will tell us where this book, where this particular book ranks for, for a particular keyword which is very useful because you want to you know, target those keywords that this book is ranking highly for if it's making sales, because it'll be making sales from those positions that it's ranking highly for. So this is another feature, um, which I think just adds to the overall uh, plus side of Helium 10. Now, BookBolt also has a reverse ASIN lookup which I did here. But again, a lot of the keywords I didn't like and they seemed irrelevant to the actual book. So I'm not fond of that feature on BookBolt. Now, the next thing to look at is niche research. And that's where BookBolt actually wins hands down. Now, when I'm doing research on niches, I want to know what different niches are out there, what niches are selling well, and what niches are trending. And BookBolt gives us all this, all this information. It has a feature called the cloud, and it will give you the top 100 notebooks, or as we can see here, journals, or calendars, or planners, and they'll rank them by best sellers rank. So you can go through and have a look and see which books are ranking well on Amazon and get some really good ideas for niches and with each book you can drill down on more information like pricing, estimated monthly sales, average best sellers ranks. And a good feature of this is if you monitor this regularly, you can see which books or which type of books or which niches are suddenly trending. You know, they're they're getting these best sellers ranks that are suddenly dropping and will and they'll appear on this list. And it's a good way of getting into niches early. Now in some of my other videos, I've shown this in action. And particularly when we're coming up to things like Halloween, Christmas, um, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, you can see which particular types of books are starting to sell well. But I find this really interesting and I check this once, twice a week to see if there's any 
you know, new types of books that I haven't thought of. And there's always books that are appearing here. I usually just tend to look in the notebook category, but you can look in these other categories that it's got here. Now, Helium 10 doesn't have a niche research tool that gives us this type of information. Um, Publisher Rocket doesn't have a, a niche research tool either. So for this, BookBolt is a winner by far. I love this particular tool. Now the next thing is category search. Now Helium 10 doesn't have anything to research categories, but BookBolt does. And you can put in a keyword and it will give you the, the what it feels are the relevant categories and it will give you a, what it grades as relevance. I don't really think that's of much use, but certainly it gives you good suggestions for categories if you're thinking about where you should um, put your book. Now with Publisher Rocket, we've got category search and all you do is just put in the keyword and we'll put in accounting here. And with this tool, we get a lot more suggestions for categories. But what I like about this is that it will give you the average bestsellers ranks of the books in the top 10 in that category. It will give you the bestsellers rank of the number one ranking book in that category. And it will tell you approximately how many sales per day you need to make to get your book ranked number one in that category. Now you may be saying, Paul, well, why is that important? Well, if you can rank number one in a category, you can get that lovely orange bestsellers badge when your book's listed on Amazon, which gives your book a bit of, I guess, kind of social proof, but it also attracts customers' eyes and they tend to go towards those books that have that little bestsellers badge. So it does give you this, I would say, more than important, vital information if you're really wanting to get those good categories where you can rank. So for category research, Publisher Rocket wins number one and BookBolt comes out number two. Now, when it comes to other features, BookBolt again is a winner here because it has book cover design tools and interior design tools. So you can actually design a book cover. Here I've um, just done a, a little quick design, but you can put text, lots of different fonts there. You can have images and it has resources. So if we put in sun and search, it gives you graphics here that you can use on your books. And you can also do hand drawings. You've got all features of layers, which you do on other graphic design programs, uh, special effects, clip art, and there's also templates as well. And there's also an interior design tool or interior resources, if you like. And if you pay for the subscription, you've got all these different interiors to choose from, which can give you ideas for niches. Plus it also gives you the, uh, the interiors for your books, which you can use. And there are loads of them and they're very easy to, to create. All you do is click on whether you need no bleed or bleed, and that's dependent on the, the interior you're using. You put in the, the size, so in this case, we could have an 8.5 by 11, and the page count, so you put 120 pages, click on download, there's your interior ready to upload to, to Amazon. Couldn't be any simpler than that. So for additional features, BookBot wins hands down. If you pay f slightly more for the, sub for the normal subscription, which I'll show you in a moment, then you do get Puzzle Whiz included on that. And that allows you to create interiors for, for certain puzzle books, word searches, I think mazes and such like. So that's very useful if you're you know, wanting a tool that you're wanting to create your interiors and um, covers in. So let's have a look now at the pricing of these tools. So if we start with Helium 10, this is probably the most expensive. Now you can sign up for free and it will give you limited access to some of the tools and allow you to do a limited number of searches per day. So it's useful if you want to try out this tool. Now, if you want to subscribe for all the tools, there's various different packages here. There's a platinum, diamond and elite. And the differences between them are just basically the, the, the number of searches it will allow per month. You can also subscribe 
to some of the uh, modules individually. We can see here we've got Magnet and Cerebro. Each of those is $37 per month. So it's expensive, but when it comes to keyword research, which is where this tool comes into its own, it's probably worth the money if you're really wanting to get all those keywords and really, you know, hammer down on a particular niche. Now I'm gonna leave links down below for these tools. And for Helium 10, if you click on the link, there are um, a couple of deals there, a 50% off deal and a 10% deal. With regards Book Bolt, that's a subscription model as well. And that is $9.99 for the features that I showed you. If you wanted the, the puzzle interior creator, that's $19.99 per month. And when you do sign up, you do get a three day free trial. And also I've got a link below, which will, if you wanted to, will get you 20% off that as well. Now. Publisher Rocket is a one-off payment of $97. So if you're not keen on the subscription model, then something like Publisher Rocket might be useful if you're, you know, you're wanting that tool for keyword research and category research. So overall, the tools are very useful. You've got those that you can subscribe to or those or the one that you can buy outright. Book Bolt is probably more of an all-round tool if you're wanting particularly the niche research and tools to help you create interiors and covers. So if you wanted to do keyword research or a tool to do keyword research, then really that probably comes down to a choice between Helium 10 and Publisher Rocket. For many, many months, I used Publisher Rocket. It was only more recently I came across Helium 10 um, and I've used that really just to get those extra keywords, which is by no means essential. So really, if you were choosing between the two, I'd go for, you know, whether you want to go for the subscription model or you want, or whether you want to buy something outright. If you really are making, you know, good money and you're really wanting to really get all those keywords, then Helium 10 does win with regards to the amount of keywords you can actually get. So I hope you found the video useful. If you were thinking of buying any of these tools, then I hope you found that comparison of what I consider the essential features useful. So if you did find it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down, but make sure you hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell. And until next time, goodbye.